What's happening everybody? Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at Saltwater Scale Models. Um, before I get into how I got started modeling, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little teaser. Um, I've been working on a new paint technique. Uh, it's probably not new, but um, it's new to me. Uh, I saw a guy do it on a motorcycle tank and I thought, wow, this is, this is too cool. I gotta try it. So. Uh, let me give you a look here, see if I can't uh, get it in the camera to a point where you can actually see what it looks like. Um, there you go. The green part. Like I said, this is a test piece. It hasn't been, uh, hasn't been sanded, so there's texture. It hasn't been clear coated. I'm not going to bother on, on the test piece. I just wanted to get, uh, get an idea of what it looked like. So it's basically just candy over, over, uh, over. A cellophane texture so I think it looks pretty pretty cool it's gonna look great on the model so at least you get some sort of idea of the texture underneath the effect it gives it almost like a silver leaf or something but it's gonna be pretty cool so anyways just wanted to give you a little teaser um, and this is gonna be the canvas real quick Bam! so uh, stay tuned for that uh, it's gonna be coming up after I battle my way through this uh, uh, this uh, Ed Ross Chevy. Anyway, how I got into the hobby. Um, I remember as a kid, probably six or seven years old, um, I didn't do a lot of building, but I specifically remember building a tank with my grandfather. Um, uh, uh, I don't remember a lot about it. I just remember I probably built it pretty quick because I was uh, in an afternoon, basically, because I was more interested in probably uh, playing with it than, than building with it. But... Um, other than that, uh, as a kid, I remember building some of those, you know, monster figures, you know, like Frankenstein, Werewolf, you know, they had the glowing heads and all that. Um, other than that, I don't remember doing a lot of building, but um, that's my first memory of it. Um, I really didn't get started until probably three years ago. Um, I had a series of back surgeries. I had two discectomies and was, uh, was laid out for about 10 weeks. Um, and really didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, I don't watch TV. I, I watch movies on my computer, but I haven't watched TV TV in literally five years. Um, so for some reason, it just came into my head. I was thinking, man, as a kid, I remember uh, I remember enjoying putting those things together. So I figured, why not? It's creative, keep you busy. Um, so my folks were kind enough to, to go out and pick up a kit. I don't remember exactly what it was. I know it's only been three years, but... Uh, I do remember it was big. I think it was a 112 scale car. It was big. And, uh, you know, uh, all I knew about modeling or remembered was take it out of the kit, paint it, put it together. So that's what I did and I enjoyed it. Um, I remember asking my father what he thought. Uh, he said, oh, yeah, not bad for, for a first try. So basically that means uh, it's crap. So <laughs> um, I kept going after that. Uh, I remember building a Kenworth truck, uh, a couple of other. 125th scales and um, for whatever reason I'm, I'm not sure I don't really remember but I think I was trying to figure out how to do something and, and somebody suggested uh, ah, check YouTube so man that was uh, that was it the world definitely turned for me um, I mean I knew nothing I didn't know about uh, priming prepping and uh, you know when it was around the time that uh, the whole zombie apocalypse thing was in full swing so um, man, I, uh, you know, I saw that, I knew nothing about weathering, I saw weathering, kit bashing, I was like, are you kidding me, I can take three or four different models and build whatever I want, um, uh, it was over, it was over, I was completely hooked, um, you know, I started watching the same guys, everybody else, uh, Chris Chapman, uh, Chevy Cheeseburger, Paul Turley, uh, um, fast jimmy you know and i was just amazed i had no idea the detailing and the aftermarket parts and and what what you know what could be done um the two guys that really really got me into it um were dr cranky and uh and benny mack those two guys uh really really got me hooked um from the very beginning uh um they were, I mean, all you guys have been, but from the very beginning, they were just incredibly encouraging and inspiring. And uh, so, uh, so yeah, I dug in, man. I mean, I, I spent hours watching videos, uh, archive videos, everything I could possibly 
I could possibly watch and learn. Um, I was just uh, totally hooked. I am what you would call uh, probably the definition of a styring junkie. Um, you know, and uh, I, I was talking to somebody and uh, they could see how excited I was about, uh, you know, about the hobby and about YouTube. And they suggested, uh, why don't you start your own channel? And I was thinking, what? You know, come on, I know nothing. Who am I? Um, but it was actually, uh, it was actually Dr. Cranky. I, I emailed him a couple times and he was nothing but gracious and kind and encouraged me. He said, yeah, he said, uh, be yourself and post your builds. So, uh, so I did. And, um, here we are three years later. Uh, never would have thought when I first built that, that kit three years ago that I'd, uh, I'd, I'd get so hooked and I'd love it and enjoy it and uh, bury myself in it. So um, it's been amazing. You know, I want to thank you guys. Uh, this community is, um, it's really special. You know, I've made, uh, I've made a lot of friends. Um, it's, uh, you know, I got to meet a couple of them last year at uh, Atlanta and hope to meet more of you this year. Um, it's just, uh, it's an incredible thing we got going here. It's an amazing hobby. It's beautiful art form. And, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to keep, uh, keep trying to get better and better every day. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick video. Thank you so much for, uh, for all your support and encouragement. And thank you for sharing all your knowledge and videos. Um, it's awesome. So there you go. Short and sweet. Um, stay tuned. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Later.